All right, another college football preview. We're jumping into the Big Ten. We're going to start out this segment with the Big Ten East. Now, we'll start. We'll do alphabetical order. Okay. How's that? Yeah. Now, this I'll go on and, and say this. This division has kind of turned into a dumpster fire. <laughs> if you look rough. through, Michigan State has had all the Larry Nasser stuff going on. Uh, Ohio State, obviously, with the Urban Meyer situation. Penn State went through all their mess, uh, you know, years ago. Uh, they seem to have steadied the ship, though. And this and, weekend. And now Maryland with problems. We're recording this on Sunday evening. And, uh, yeah. And DJ Durkin is now on uh, administrative, administrative leave. leave. Now, did, does Durkin's being there or not being there change their record for you? Uh, it did by one game. Okay. I'm not touching mine. I also did these rankings before the Urban Meyer stuff. Not changing it. So, when you hear my number for Ohio State, that was with Urban Meyer coaching all 12 games. Okay. Okay, because do you think he's going to coach all twelve? It's, uh, um, it's a... <laughs> no, no. The answer to that is no. He will not coach all twelve. Okay, okay. That sounds good to me. Let's start off with Indiana. Um, Woo, we're look, getting we're getting smoking hot when we're starting here. Their over under is five <laughs> for this year. All right, before you give me the record, did you go over or under? Uh, I'll 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 tell you. I went even. Oh, all right. I went I went even. I've got them at five and seven. Look, they got seven starters back on offense. Only three are back on defense. And head coach Tom Allen is a former defensive coordinator. Defense is his thing. So they should be okay on defense. I don't know that they will be. I don't know that they're going to be all that good. Uh, they got a grad transfer from Arizona. His name is uh, Brenton Dawkins, or Brandon Dawkins, sorry. Uh, it looks like he's going to win the quarterback job. Tom Allen, defensive guy, they should be okay. But, I mean, my gosh, there's just so many losses on the schedule. Indiana does not have the talent to be able to keep up with some of these teams. Nope. If if they were going to beat Michigan, they should have beaten Michigan last year. That overtime game, You're Michigan not going to have weak. a lot of opportunities to beat no. these big teams. When you get them beat, you got to take it. You got to do it. They, they have a very easy beginning of the schedule, right? Um <laughs> but I'd say I say easy. It's easier than their conference schedule. Okay. But goodness, uh, I have them losing the first two games. You, <laughs> what did you have them going? Two and ten. Good lord. Two and ten. No they, respect for Indiana whatsoever. They are way better than that. All right. Way better than All that. All right. I so might I, change that Maryland win to a W. That'd give them three and nine. Uh, did you have them? It, so wait, you had Maryland. You had them losing to Maryland. I'm losing to Maryland. I already had them beating Maryland. Yeah. See. So, but I, I got them losing to Purdue. I could, I could at easily Michigan, slip flip that at Minnesota, Penn State. Like their the their toss up games are all on the road. That's the problem because they got they got Penn State at home, they got Iowa at home. But their non conference game against Virginia. Virginia is a better team than they used to be. Virginia is getting better. I look, Bronco Mendenhall I agree. Is, is turning that program around. It takes a long time to rebuild at a place that I, rebuild. I don't know if they were ever built. Um, that has never had talent, but he is a really good coach. He l- agreed, but they do have Virginia at home. Yeah, it don't matter. It I, don't matter. I think it matters when it, when you got a coaching discrepancy. I don't know that home field matters that much. I'm going to go with five the better seven. coach. Five and seven, Indiana. You I'm going to give them. I'm going to give them three and nine. I'll give them the Maryland win. Okay, all right. I'll take a W away from. Speaking Maryland. of Maryland, speaking of Maryland, look, the mess down there right now. Uh, anonymous sources have come out and said that uh, DJ Durkin is running a uh, culturally unfit program. So, of course, there's like three staffers and the head coach that are placed on administrative leave right now. It didn't really change much for me. I Look, their over-under for Maryland was four and a half already. Okay. I had them five and seven. I now have them four and eight. So I will now have them five and seven. After I gave Indiana an extra W. Uh, so you had Maryland going to a bowl. Yeah, six and six. Yeah, they were really good last year. And it didn't matter who played at quarterback. The next man up kind of I mean, seemed they, to be better than anybody that's played for LSU in the last were, decade. I don't know that they were that good. I mean, they, they went four and eight last year. Yeah, but they went into Texas and they kicked the crap out of them week one. No, and then they, they, they got they their – They fell apart. They got – Decimated with injury. Yeah, but Gary. they get decimated with injury every they, year. Yeah, but you can't – I don't predict that. You can't predict it. When they were healthy, they beat the crap out of teams they shouldn't have beat. Now you're probably, yeah, you're so right on if, that. So, if they're not healthy, then I can't I can't judge that. No, you're you're right. You're right. So, and maybe right. they're not healthy because 
DJ Durkin beats the crap out of this player. Uh, quarterback uh, Kasim Hill is back uh, from, uh, let's see, he uh, had an ACL injury. He, he is, tore, He's tore it in the Texas game, Yeah, right? he is super explosive. He was the one that, I mean, he looked wrecked, all world. Wrecked. All world. Wrecked they uh, they get uh, defensive end Jesse uh, Antibonum. No. And Antibonum. Good enough. Whatever. It, so he, he he's, back. look, he was a massive, like he was their leading sack. Uh, producer, he was. I think, I think awesome. they have talent, man. I know, I know they're Maryland, and we don't give them any respect. Well, they, the They've problem got for six me, and six talent. Easy. They they have a tough, tough schedule. Well, yeah, it's they're really in the Eastern Division. But they but they got eight starters back on offense and five back on defense. It's not just that. Like they start out with Texas, yeah, and, and then and Texas is going to be coming for blood. Yeah, and then they've got Temple, and and after that, I mean, it's like they've got at Bowling Green, which is a guaranteed W at least for them. Um, Should be, yep. But then you've got Minnesota at Michigan, Rutgers yeah, at home. Rutgers to but beat them. Y- you play at Michigan, at Iowa, Michigan State at home, at Indiana, which is a toss up. Uh, you got Ohio State at home. You got at Penn State. Like, I don't know where the W's are coming from. So I got them at four and eight again. Well, I think they'll beat Illinois. I think they'll beat Bowling Green. I think they'll beat Temple. These, these are the four wins I've got. Okay. I've got them uh, at Bowling Green, Temple, Rutgers, and Illinois. All right, so the only ones I have other than that is I have Minnesota. That's the game that actually switched for me because of because of the whole Durkin situation. And that might be worth because it. Because I think P.J. Fleck is, is a really good coach. Oh, and, and that's it. And he's because got his I gave, guy. I just gave the other win to Indiana. So, yeah, that would be the it. Okay. So, so we you flipped on Minnesota and I'm not. I think they got more talent than Minnesota. I, hey, that's totally reasonable. Totally reasonable. Uh, let's move on from there. Michigan. Get to a big boy. Let's get to the big boys. Michigan, their over under is nine. This is uh, this is supposed to be the bad year, right? So their schedule, they got at Notre Dame, at Tough. Northwestern, at Michigan State, at Rutgers, at Ohio State. Four of those could easily be losses. Then they've also got Wisconsin at home, Penn State at home. Uh, they got Nebraska at home. Like, I mean, this t- this is tough. That's a tough schedule. I think I'm going eleven and one, <laughs> and I think I think Jim Harbaugh has the. The best. only reason I am laughing about this is that I went through the schedule and I also have them eleven and one. I love this, and it is look. They got nine starters back on defense. They are, they, and that defense. How good was it last year? Oh, it was the offense was putrid, which is yeah, why the defense the, got beat when they got beat. Right, Shea Patterson is in at quarterback. I'm I gonna, think he will make an instant change here. I'm going to tell you that I think Shea Patterson could be. How many years of eligibility he's got left? Two. He's got two. I think Shea Patterson could be the best quarterback Jim Harbaugh's ever had. Uh, better than Andrew Luck? I think he could be. Okay, I think that you were out of your mind. I think he could be. Well, I don't know how great Andrew Luck is, though. How good has he been? But who are you right now? What are you even talking about? I think Shea Patterson's good. I think you he think Shea Patterson really could be better than Andrew Luck? Well, if he comes into Michigan and he wins eleven and one and wins a national championship, it's something Andrew Luck never did. And then let's say he does something close to the same thing next year and makes the playoff. If he makes the playoffs two years back to back, then yeah, yeah, he's a better college player than Andrew Luck was. What is the what? what you've got him eleven and one. I know you don't like doing this, but what game do you see them losing? The, if I had to pick a game I think they're going to lose, I think they're going to lose a game at home to Wisconsin. You think to Wisconsin? think to Wisconsin. Because I think this is the year Harbaugh gets all the monkeys off his back. And so they, they've he, got Wisconsin, he, that they've he got can't, at he Michigan can't State. He can't beat Michigan State. He can't beat Ohio State. He can't beat his big rivals. I got him I losing think, at Ohio State. I think this is the year he beats all his rivals, but he loses to another team that's Really, really good. So eleven and one going to the conference title game. It, but you know this, I am a Harbaugh apologist. I know I am the one guy that lives around here that thinks the world is him. I I like quirky. I like weird. I think he's one of the best coaches in all of college football. And looking I think at the schedule, stud. I thought a lot of the same stuff. I think they lose to Ohio State. I think Ohio State I ends think, up in the conference championship I game. I think, but they that's kick me. Kick there, but I don't think it's close. I think they go into the horseshoe. I don't know what the what the money line would be right now, or what the early point spread would be right now? Well, I guess I think it was Ohio sp- State by a touchdown. I would, I would take, I would take Michigan right now, and it wouldn't be close. If I could get those adjusted odds when you go into the sports book, which I love, I really wish I could be in Vegas for Week One 
of the NFL and of college football because there's a bunch of lines that I think are just wrong. And, and I would be playing the adjusted lines where you can get mega points by delaying more One points. of the things I talked to Felica about, by the way, uh, was how much the line has moved in that Notre Dame-Michigan game. Yep. Right? So Michigan opened up as a six-point underdog, and now they are a three-point favorite Favorite. at Notre Dame. I think they realized uh, we made a huge mistake. That's – I wondered if it was maybe the Shea Patterson stuff or whatever, but, man, that stuff's crazy. So, look, Michigan did not have a single offensive lineman on any of Phil Steele's all-conference teams. That's four of them. Four all-conference teams. They didn't have a single guy represented. And they returned three starters from last year. Uh, Karen Higdon, he's back, 1,000-yard running back. Uh, he averaged 6.1 yards per carry last year. Uh, but they do have a tough schedule. They got Wisconsin at home at Notre Dame. We already went through all that. It's not going like, to be easy. It's not going to be easy, but I love that defense. I do, too. That defense is fantastic. I and think defense and, bringing and every, running the football bringing wins everybody ball. back and Shea Patterson. Yep. But they have a quarterback. I would say he's, he's world's better quarter. It's immeasurable the difference between him and all the quarterbacks that Harbaugh's had since being at Michigan. You are correct. So the Andrew Luck thing, probably a little hyperbole, little 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 trash on him. But everybody not named Andrew Luck that Harbaugh's ever coached in college, yeah, I don't think it's close. Yeah, you're probably right. You're probably right. All right, let's try and uh, speed things up a little bit. we got okay. Michigan State next. Uh, their over-under is nine. This is my guy. I've got them going under the nine. I got them pushing it. So, it, but the I, I've got them eight and four. Yeah, eight and four. Good. Here is where I see them losing. Okay, I've got them starting out five and zero. Correct. I mean, we I would agree with that. Then losing at Penn State, losing at home to Michigan, I've got them losing to Ohio State, and then you are not going to believe this one. If you do the Rutgers thing, I'm going to knock. Oh you no 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 no. Okay. At Nebraska, Scott Frost. I think Scott Frost pulls off one big unforeseen upset, that would and probably I think right. that this is it. You and know, that, I don't oh, think Nebraska is going to be great. That wouldn't shock me at all. But at home against Michigan State, I think that they will have their offense clicking at that point. Um, Michigan State has got ten starters back on offense. They got nine back on defense. So, like, this is the perfect combination for D'Antonio. That Michigan-Michigan State game is going to be old school Alabama-LSU. Yes, it is. Auburn-LSU, like, bruising, hard nose. Very little they're, scoring. They're running back. LJ is, Scott is going to be beating folks up. LJ Scott is an absolute beast. Yep, he is a beast. Their quarterback Brian Lewerke, however you say that. Yeah, uh, he's fantastic. He's he's a game manager, right? He can throw the football, but like all he does is take care of the football. That's what he does. Uh, they've only got three starters back on D. Uh, nope, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Sorry. Schedule uh, sets up well. Talent may not be there, although they do have the experience, uh, and they've got one of the best secondaries in the country. So they they were led by uh, David Duvall, and so they're good. I love Mark Antonio. You know that I've got him nine and three. I got him losing to all three of the juggernauts to Ohio State, Michigan, and Penn State. Schedule wise, nobody did either one of these teams favors. Michigan, Michigan. Talk about LSU, Alabama. We always have a bye week before we play each other every year. Um, before other big games, we try to throw a cupcake yeah, in Mi- there. Michigan State's bye week is before hang on, Indiana. Hang on. Mich- <laughs> Michigan plays Wisconsin before Michigan State. Michigan State plays at Penn State before Michigan State. Yeah. For Michigan. And then at least Michigan's got a bye week after that bloodbath that's going to be. Uh, Michigan State's got to play Purdue after that, man. I mean, it wouldn't shock me for Purdue to come in there and take that W just because. Man, I, we'll that's get a to, hard game. We'll get to Purdue in the next but division. That's a, but, but that's man. a hard game, right? No, it's a hard game. I mean, I'm, you're, I'm you're talking you. about two teams. That, that's one of those train. I know we're trying to go faster. Yeah. That's one of those training stable games. Like, everybody's in the trainer after this game. Yeah, you're you're right about that. You're right about that. Next up, Ohio State. Over-under is 10 and a half. I wouldn't be touching this with a 10-foot pole, man. Like, there's, there's no way I'm t- – because it could be 10 wins, it could be 11 wins, and I think it's going to come down between those two, and it might have to do with how many games Urban Meyer misses, right? So, let's uh, – Well, they get to start off the season pretty soft. If if they give Urban a two-game If they do a two-game, then that's it. Like, Oregon State and Rutgers. They've got a pretty easy schedule, even pretty playing easy. at Michigan State and at Penn that's State. That's a joke. Uh, but everything else is basically at home, right? So, that's, that's why I'm saying it's pretty easy. Uh, Dwayne Haskins replaces JT Barrett, or at least we think he does. Like, it could be Tate Martell. 
uh, in 2018, uh, I don't know where I'm at. Oh, here. They went undefeated in 2012, right? 2014, they won the national championship. 2016, they made the playoff. It's another even year. This is a playoff year for them. Everything kind of goes in, in circles for them. Even years are good for them. Uh, everybody talks about J.K. Dobbins, a running back. But look, Mike Weber, if he had been healthy, like, he is an absolute beast. So look out for that guy. They got uh, three or four offensive linemen starting that are coming back like that. Nick Bosa and Chase Young on the defensive line. You're not going to get better than that. Five returning starters on defense, but they got a ton of experience. Look, what's, I've what's got your record? At, it, depending on Urban Meyer's Just suspension, give me, give me a number. I got him ten and two. I got him nine and three. Did any of that hinge on Urban Meyer? Nope. I did really mine before Urban. I don't care if he's there. I think they're going to beat the cupcakes, and there is a loss there that I have, which is the TCU loss. I think they're going to go to Gary Patterson. Yeah. And I think Gary Patterson is going to say, I don't have the boys you have. I don't have the horses you have, but I'm a better football coach than you. I have got Ohio State losing at TCU, but I think it will be a win if that is the first game that Urban Meyer comes back. I think that's... The fact that they have a month and a half prepare for that game because their first two games won a total combined of like two games last year. Yeah, Rutgers and Oregon State, both at home. Like, that's garbage. That's just such garbage. I got them losing at Penn it's State. It's too powerful. Point. It's like, I think, <laughs> oh, my God. I'm about to knock you out. I'm not chair. an Ohio State apologist. You, I'm you, just saying. Yeah, you are, because they're the same as Alabama. No, they're just in a no, different conference. If, they're literally like your cousin. Me being an Alabama fan, I'm supposed to hate Ohio no, you're State. Not. You're supposed to defend them, because every time they get in a situation. I'm calling if, Ohio State like I see it. If that's they all get I'm out of it, it means Alabama's going to get out of it. So, Look, anyway. Yeah, I think if Urban Meyer comes back for the TCU game, I think they win. If he's not back in time for the TCU game, I think they lose. I, I think I, they, that's I think the they only win that one. game no matter what. I think I'll, Gary Patterson is better coach than them. Penn State. I've got them go losing State. at Penn State. They're going to get their butt whipped in that game. They will win out the rest of the way. I would love to see Michigan State beat them. I, I think there's. I think Michigan State's schedule is just too hard. Yeah. Um, and I think they're going to go in. They're going to go in the horseshoe. They're going to be feeling great, and they're going to have all kind of swagger. And I think Jimmy Harbaugh is going to come in, and I think he's going to blast them. I disagree. Until Harbaugh beats Ohio State, especially on the road, I got to call Ohio State to win that one. That's fine. Uh, so I've got Ohio State ten and two, but I've got them winning the division. So every time you have to wait until you see it, you're always going to lose that game until you see it. That's, and I'm okay with that. I'm going to win it this year, and I'm going to win it next year. I'm going to win it the year after that. More more times than not, I will be correct, but. I've, Penn I've been, State, what do you got? <laughs> Penn State, over-under is nine and a half. I got them going over. I got them going over, too. Man, that's a tough over-under. But yeah, I, got I, I, don't, uh, I don't think that they're going to miss Joe Moorhead that much. The guy that is uh, that is in there, uh, what's the offensive coordinator's name? Rain? But Franklin's an offensive guy, though, right? Yeah, Franklin's Franklin, an offensive Franklin's guy. Franklin's an offensive guy. He, whenever the head coach does what the coordinator did that left, I never worry about it. I think Saquon I, Barkley – never. Saquon Barkley is a special, special talent. I think I got that's that. going to be – But big. Trace McSorley really is good. a fantastic quarterback. And look, uh, the quarterback that they've got coming in behind him, Miles Sanders, he is going to be a breakout star. Breakout star. But, but they, you they, they've got a great said, offensive line. You and I kind of said this last year. Like, Barkley deserved all the accolades that he got. Yeah, but Trace McSorley's he, great. He took away from Trace McSorley. Trace, Trace is a really good quarterback. They're going to be fine offensively. Yeah. I think they're going to be really good. Two games you got them losing. Uh, the two games that I have Penn State losing are... Big boy uh, games or you got them slipping up? Up, I got two in a row. Two big boy games. Me too. I've got them, uh, let's see, losing at Michigan. Mm -hmm. And then because they lost at Michigan, I've got them losing to Wisconsin at home. Me too. Me too. That's Me, kind right, of ridiculous, now, right? This is scary that you and I are seeing... There's eye a, to eye on a, Penn State. Well, there's a team that we, we kind of feel a lot about too. Uh, let's move on from Penn State. Uh, we both got them at ten and two in the wasteland of this division. Rutgers, congratulations! I have Rutgers. Their over under is four. I got them even with that. I got them four wins. They yeah. went they went four and eight last year. I got them doing the same thing this year. You got them two and ten. Now they win two. There's a lot games. of this non conference that, games. There's a lot that could be an issue here because there's like a credit card fraud issue going on. They could have some guys suspended early. Uh, it could. I don't think it's going to cost them anything. 
in some of these games. Well, uh, the only game it could cost them is the Texas State game or the Buffalo game. Yeah, because, they, look, they're losing at Ohio State. I think they lose at Kansas. I don't think they lose at Kansas. I've got them winning at Kansas because I just don't trust David Beatty. I don't, I don't trust care. Kansas. I don't care. I mean, my Rutgers. God, they've won one game every this, year for – I'm about to say something that's inappropriate. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to get in trouble. <laughs> Those two teams playing each other is a is a damn sham. What, Kansas and Rutgers? Yes. Why is that a sham? I, well, I guess it's not. It's just a pillow fight. It's it's a pillow fight, it's, but it, at least it'll be than more Oklahoma competitive. Oklahoma saying, "Hey, we're going to go to the Big Ten and play a play a Big Ten team and get a W and go beat Rucker because that's what they're good at." Exactly, exactly. Um, I've got them beating. All right, so I've got them starting out three and one: Texas State <laughs> at Kansas and Buffalo. So, Although you, I think Buffalo could the, end up being great because you've got the Kansas win. Okay, so and then I've got, got them beating them. Illinois, yeah. but then losing everything else. All right, so. That's enough record talk. All right, so you've got Michigan winning the uh, the division, and I've got Ohio State. I got Michigan winning it. I like it. All right, from there we'll move on to the Big Ten West. 